Welcome to Real Physics. Why should we care about fundamental constants? Because fundamental constants are the key to understanding and the key to progress in fundamental physics. I give you two examples. One of the most consequential discoveries of modern physics was the realization that light is an electromagnetic wave. This is included in this equation that links the speed of light to the electric and magnetic constants. So progress is obtained when we reduce the number of fundamental constants, in this case from 3 independent to 2. Another example is Niels Bohr, who around 1913 realized that Rydberg's constant in atomic physics can be explained by other fundamental constants of nature. Again, we have a reduction in this number and all of atomic physics is based on this insight. The Rydberg constant, by the way, was discovered by Johann Jakob Balmer in 1885 when he analyzed a variety of spectral data from the hydrogen atom. Again, this is a simplification and a condensing of a variety of data into one constant. It's also clear that for further progress we should try to eliminate other constants of nature and a huge progress, for example, would be the elimination of the gravitational constant g. There are some ideas how to do that, I talked about this in other videos, but I hope you understood that fundamental constants are key to fundamental physics if you want really understand something. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental physics, subscribe to this channel.